Hi, I'm Jim Edwards. My wife and I, Jean Edwards, on our way to interview Reed and Linda Amadon, uh, college, retired college professors in Gallant, New Mexico, have stopped off here in Roswell, New Mexico. Now, we're to interview Reed and Linda Amadon for high strangeness that they've had in their lives and experience. And of course, Roswell is famous for its high strangeness and the, the UFO crash in 1947. One of the first things that struck me about Roswell is the size of the town that you see behind me. I really was not anticipating as large of a community that Roswell is. Now, we're going to take a step inside the uh, UFO Museum, the International UFO Museum, see if they'll let us film. As you can see, we're inside the museum. They said we can film here today, no problem. And we're in the lobby area. I want to introduce you to my two new friends, to my right and my left. Uh, obviously, depictions of the aliens that they believe uh, crashed with the uh, Roswell uh, saucer crash in 47. One thing I think is interesting in this display is this is the radio equipment that was used from the KGLF radio station that first gave out some of the news about the crash. And the teletype that came in that I personally had met the individual from Western Union that sent the telegram and the telex shutting down all communications in and outside of Roswell, New Mexico, one within a day of the crash. Uh, he was with Western Union. I met him when I was with RCA Global Communications and had that conversation with him. We've been going through the Roswell Museum and seeing the evidence that is shown here about the Roswell crash. Dr. Friedman is quoted on the wall behind me stating that the evidence is overwhelming that Earth has been being visited by aliens for a very long time. I think says it clearly, and since we're here for strangeness illuminated, I think that here it is illuminating the strangeness that occurred here. It is a fact that we have been being visited for a very long time. Whether or not someone desires to accept the illumination is their choice. But just the fact that places like this here in Roswell have been continuing to attract visitors for many, many years indicates that there is some level that the population understands that this is not just a fact. This is a report of the truth of what has been happening here. Let me talk a little bit about Betty and Barney Hill. Back in 1967, in the book UFO Serious Business by Frank Edwards, which I admit I read in part as a teenager because his name was Edwards, was illuminating in that their experience has over and over again been confirmed as being a true experience, one of the first reported abductions that we have in America. That book and this story directed my life in the pursuit of the truth concerning UFOs, because by that time I had had my own experience as a young boy with UFOs. And this gave me confirmation that I was not the only person that was interacting with these folks. I'll call them these alien folks. It looks like they're landing again, James. Yeah. It's one of the more fancy uh, exhibits they have at the International UFO Museum. Very cool. Although I have to say they got the language wrong, it's more thick. 